Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Can I do a video in pigtails? Yes I can. I'm about to because I keep forgetting to do this video when I'm having a better hair week. <laughs> I'm not doing it when I'm having a bad hair week and winter is gone I'm moving further and further away. So before it becomes too irrelevant I'm like let me just do this video. That's my winter stash flashback aka a quick review of all the new perks that I used this winter. So my winter stash flash is usually kind of short because I spend half of my winter not in winter. As you guys know, Fetton, basically, in Trinidad, but this is just talking about the products that I used while I was actually cold this year, winter 2017-2018. So let's start off with TGIM. I used the Green Tea Super Moist, and I do have a video with a full review on that, but just letting you know that I loved it. My hair was moisturized, my hair was defined, it was extra creamy and stuff, which is great for winter extra hydrating my hair stays soft love 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 and i am gonna do some showdown videos i'm gonna show down this one with the next one i talk about which is the curl origin because both of them are kind of similar and i want to figure out which leave-ins are my favorite before black friday so i don't have like 10 that i love i need to work it down to which ones i love the most so one of my showdowns are these two the other showdown that i have planned is the well Anyway, the other show that I have planned is the Jane Carter Untangle Me versus the Sultanicals Frizz Wiz. Those are another two that are really similar and I want to see which one I like best. And let me know if you want to see any other side by side. But yeah, two thumbs up. <laughs> so next we have the Curl Origin Maracuja Rich Moisture Milk. I also have a review on this posted. Everything I just said for that. <laughs> but this has protein as well so if you need a little protein fix and you want moisture and softness and definition and slip and a great scent and everything definitely give this a try so i also love 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 this two thumbs up yay color is a new line that i'm going to be repurchasing every year for sure so it's officially permanently on my list so yay for that the other product from color that i tried and i loved was the maracuja deep conditioner so like I mentioned, the whole line has protein, but you wouldn't even be able to tell from how moisturized your hair is. So my hair was again super moisturized, lots of slip, and I do also have a video on that one. So check out this as well. This is a definite repurchase for me as well. I still have to try the overnight mask, which I will be trying soon, but Black Friday, Curl Origin, you and me, we'll see each other. Because getting this, getting the hair milk, I think, I'm gonna do that showdown and getting the thing we're about to talk about now, which is the protein treatment. So I love, love, love the Curl Origin Maracuja and Quinoa Damage Control Reparative Conditioner. I have to do a video on that. I haven't posted the video yet, but when I tell you, wow. Moisture for days, slip for days, and protein did the thing. My hair went from like this to this. And I know your hair shrinkage, but I love my hair to be tight and right. And when a protein treatment can just show me that it's doing something, I love it. That's my new favorite HG natural protein treatment. I know my old love is the Okra Reconstructor from She Scented and I still love that. But this one has even more of a protein kick while still being super moisturizing and super hydrating. So I love it. Definitely going to repurchase Black Friday, getting at least two. I'm loving Curl Origin so far. Next on the list is Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. So it's not new to me. I have tried it before. I just haven't used it in a long time before that video. Um, I hadn't used it in a long time, but I do like it. The pros, it's moisturizing, great slip, great definition. Just does the thing. It just does the thing. It's a great gel. My only con would be that it seems like it's just a little bit heavy like in the sense that it can leave build up which i don't get from any of the other gels that i use so that's my only con but no crunch moisturizing lots of slip great definition great hold everything good check out my full review if you want more information but if you're just looking for a quick what to try what not to try then check out my stash flashes so this was a yes as well and then special mention to this trader joe's tea tree tingle you saw me use it for my trim video and I just used this alone. Well, I think I used the Jane kind of leave-in and then this um, for my twist. And you would never know I just used those two. My twists were moisturized for like the whole week. My hair just felt super soft and moisturized. 
and this gave me great definition so I do want to try this for a wash and go this summer like just a conditioner only wash and go this summer so I'm late to the party but I finally finally tried this after having it sitting in my stash for probably two years I know I know I know but it's definitely a winner and I do love it and last but not least this Alafia Shea Butter Curl Activating Cream so I tried this when I first went natural and that's when I used to do wash and goes on not soaking my hair I used these two and my hair was just dry, flaky, it was just all in a mess but I think it was pretty much user error so recently I've been using this just to kind of beaten up my pigtails when I go to the gym and it adds moisture and tames frizz and gives you a little bit of hole and stuff so I do like this I'm not saying I'm going to repurchase it just because I have so many creams so I'll probably use one of those when this is done but I'm just saying it has been doing a great service for me for days when you just need a little touch up on your existing style just to slap it on and look neat again it's been doing the thing for that plus I think the things with Shea Butter tend to look better for me as a kind of daily cream like over moisturized hair than to moisturize my hair from the beginning you know what I mean like I need a barrier between the Shea Butter and my hair like some leave-in or something it does have the agave nectar i see you agave nectar i see you raspberry extra this is found in whole foods by the way and they have changed the labeling because again like i've had this for a while but i will say that i like it now so that's it short and sweet i actually finally got this out and got this to you because spring is here and i need to start thinking about my spring stash so i need to just get this one done in the book so thank you for allowing me to do that thank you for allowing me to share this with you let me know in the comments if you enjoyed, if you like any of these products and just if you like this stash flash type videos because it does take time and effort to do them so if you guys don't even like them then uh, I should probably not even do them but I kind of like them just to have a recap and just to give you guys a quick once over of some of the products instead of the detailed reviews that I usually do when I'm doing product reviews you can just get a quick run through so I like them for that, let me know if you like them for that too <laughs> And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.